today on District Wire News, contraceptive surprise. Trojan condoms being handed on the quad at American University today. We've got student reaction coming up. And is it winter already? Put those shorts and flip-flops away because the cold weather is here and it may be here to stay. We'll tell you how it's affecting local residents and what you can do to watch out for Jack Frost. Good evening, I'm Casey Jenkins. And I'm Justin Fensterman. Let's go straight to our first story. It's Trojan Man to the rescue. Across the nation, this condom manufacturer is helping college students evolve out of their piggish ways. Alessandra Torres has our story. At American University, Trojan is encouraging students to practice safe sex. The Evolve Tour hit the campus this morning. Through games, facts, and videos, the tour's goal is to inform students in a non-threatening way and get to get them to give up their piggish behaviors of unsafe sex. Tess Vandendolder is a freshman at American who says that Trojan's message is an important one for all college students. Um, I think it's a really good way, especially on a college campus, to get kids aware. The tour has been to 60 campuses since March, and thousands of students have signed the pledge to practice safe sex. Trojan's next stop is Virginia Tech. Reporting from American University, Alessandra Torres, District Wire News. Voting begins in Washington, D.C. today for the presidential election. Any registered voter can cast a walk-in absentee ballot until November 3rd, the day before the election. They are located at the D.C. Board of Elections and Ethics Headquarters, 441 4th Street at the Judiciary Square Metro stop. Voters can mail in absentee ballots until October 28th, one week before the election. On Election Day, 143 polling booths will be open for district voters. With temperatures in the low 40s, getting dressed this morning took some extra time. Here is Emily Jarvis with the Chili Story. Fall weather has arrived. The leaves are changing. There are pumpkins on the doorsteps, and the temperature is plummeting. Students at American University are adjusting to the cold. I slept with the window open last night, so I woke up freezing, and I said, let's put on something warm. Long gone are the sandals of summer. Now students are wearing boots and tennis shoes. Some students are even thinking about warmer ways to get to school. When I went outside, I stepped outside, I was like, oh, I guess I'm not going to bike to school today. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it discouraged me from biking. I drove here instead. American University is turning on the heat today, so dorm rooms will be cozy by tomorrow. Temperatures will continue to fall later this week, with highs in the upper 50s. For the District Wire, I'm Emily Jarvis. With the change in weather comes the common cold. A mystery to doctors and often harmless, the common cold is most prevalent when the temperature drops and is the leading cause of doctor visits. The illness is not directly affected by the cold weather. It's because people tend to spend more time indoors and in close proximity to each other. Here are a few ways to combat this sickness. Frequently wash your hands, avoid touching your eyes or mouth, and do not share drinking glasses or utensils with others. Virginia Railway Express fares are up for the third time in 13 months. The decision comes with high maintenance costs, labor, and fuel prices eating up operating budgets. The economic crisis prevents the commuter system from turning to state or federal government from help. The VRE originally wanted a 15 percent increase, but settled for 7 percent. A one-way ticket from Fredericksburg to Union Station will jump to $9.70 from $9.10. The system's operators say they're confident commuters won't switch to driving. D.C. drivers are excited that gas is back to about $3 per gallon. The drop in U.S. demand sent world crude oil prices below $70 a barrel. Manufacturing is down and unemployment is up, so the world's largest consumer nation isn't using much oil. The dramatic change from record highs three months ago show the economic effect on global industries. Countries like Nicaragua and Venezuela became dependent on the increase in revenues and will be heavily hit. The extra money in Americans' pockets resulted in a stock market rise. There's no need to mask your political views this Halloween. 
Jim Berg of Minnesota owns a, real, a retail store which sells masks of presidential faces. He has everything from First Lady Laura Bush to Ross Perot and John Kerry. As expected, presidential candidates Barack Obama and John McCain are the big sellers for this year. Berg says both masks are equally popular. The most popular on a yearly basis are John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon. So Casey, what are you going to be this for this Halloween? Uh, I was thinking about Sarah Palin, but after that, uh, it sounds like some people have already beat me to it. Why don't, why don't you just be Tina Fey? <laughs> what about you? Uh, I th I'm at a cross between Batman and a uh, New York Knicks basketball player. I have a personalized jersey at home, so I'm thinking of uh, getting it sent down and being a basketball player. It's a great time of year. Thanks for joining us on today's District Wire. For updates and stories to view previous newscasts, log on to newsforau.wordpress.com. I'm Justin Fensterman.